What's up, Scrappy Peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and today we're documenting this muddy little fella. Uh, I am working on the back of a, another page that I have already done, and one of the stickers just was not where it's supposed to be. Oh, that's the. There's nothing quite so much in scrapbooking that it annoys me and is more of a pet peeve than adhesive. Adhesive not working adhesive in ATGs getting stuck everywhere, adhesive being too cloggy in my glue. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's a constant battle. Uh, let me know. I'd love to know in the comments, what is your scrappy or crafty pet peeve of all time? Mine is just adhesive as an entire cluster. <laughs> Uh, so today I am documenting some photos of Arch. Uh, it was just his birthday. So I had planned for this page to go out on Archie's birthday, which was a Sunday, on Easter Sunday actually. Um, but I didn't get to the voiceover because life, ooh, life has been shamozzling, peeps. It's, it, look, I'll save you all the dramas, but it's been a big term of school. Archie started G1 and it's been full on. Um, we've got neurodivergent diagnoses in the process, assessments, medical appointments, all sorts of fun things are happening. Uh, so I didn't get a chance to voice over it for his birthday, but I thought I'd pop it up now um, because it's a page that makes me smile. Uh, and you know what? After the term we've had, a little bit of smile is always welcome. <laughs> uh, so I have matted these photos together in one big block. And these were from Archie's, I was trying to figure it out. I think it must be from his fifth birthday. Because he looks bigger than four, I feel. It's in the album probably. 2021, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I think fifth birthday, I think. Uh, and so I thought the background is quite a tricky one to work with uh, because it has such a large pattern. And usually I avoid these pattern paper backgrounds if I um, if there's a wreath or a big giant rainbow. I, I find it challenging because it kind of uh, funnels you into how you can use the page and make it even. Uh, but I thought, hey... Let's embrace a challenge and give it a go. I've got this pack of embellishments. I have a feeling, are they Simple Stories or Echo Park? I can't quite remember, um, but I've had them for a while and they're very cutesy, a lot of like animals with party hats and that type of thing. And I thought that the, the hot dog worked out well with Arch just because he is a bit of a hot dog and um, he's as silly as a, a hot dog wearing a party hat. So it works out well. <laughs> uh, love you, Arch. Uh, I'm adding these balloons and then you can't have a birthday without cake. We can. I don't like cake. Is there anyone else that doesn't like cake? Oh, actually, here's a question for you, peeps, because I was wondering this the other day. Um, I was talking, I'd, I'd met a new mum from school and I was talking to them about things and we got onto the subject of not liking cake or ice cream. And I would love to know what's an opinion that you have that is not shared by a lot of people. So, for example, ice cream is foul. That's my opinion that's not shared by many people. Um, uh, yeah, I'd love to know what do you have an opinion that is not it's not a popular one and keep it nice in the comments too if you see a comment that's an opinion that you don't like um but yeah cake and ice cream are foul I don't like either of them uh I also don't like dogs oh that's another one that a lot of people will not agree with uh but I am making this giant cluster down here and I feel like it's a chaotic cluster but hey Archie's a chaotic little one and we love him for that uh, and so it works out it works out well also this rainbow is very overpowering it's a it's a big one uh, and so I feel like in order to weigh everything down kind of like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow we, re we really need a heavy a heavy heavy cluster I've got my tappy fingers on, so that means I'm thinking or I'm frustrated. Uh, and I think I was thinking in this case and trying to figure out what on earth to call this layout and what alphas to use because 
it's it's tricky when you've got a multicolour background to figure out what colour to use um, that blends that doesn't blend in. This pack of alphas as well does not have a lot of letters left. Uh, I have F's which I can turn into E's. There's I's. There's U's always too many U's, and there's Q's that I could turn into O's. But all in all, the the vowels are pretty slim pickings. I did recently add uh, this set of alphas to my couch scrapping kit and I just finished uh, this couch kit that I was working with and there's still thickers left in this pack. It's, I feel like it's the pack of thickers that just will not, uh, will not die. It will just keep going on, on and on and on forever. I'm determined to finish it off though. It's such a satisfying feeling though when you finish a sticker sheet. Um, maybe it is four. It is four, am I looking for O's? Yes, it is four years old. Well, there you go. He's just looking much more older than four, but apparently he's four. I, I would know because I, I got it out of the album chronologically where it belongs. So um, yeah, there you go. Uh, I decided to call this one, Wow Big Four Boy, uh, which, you know, it, it's, it should be four year old, but we're just working grammatically <laughs> with what we've got. Uh, I, sorry, I haven't been around much. It's like I said, life has just thrown some real spanners in the works at the moment. And I'm back on track for YouTube. I've got a heap of videos pre-filmed and I'm going to be voiceovering them and scheduling them so that they'll be up uh, on here and on my Let's Get Inky art journaling channel as well. I've missed you peeps. Um, but yeah, sometimes life gets so chaotic um, that my, my inky days don't turn out to be inky days. They turn out to be mumming days. Um, we're just finishing up the school holidays here too. So once they're done, I'll be back on track. These stars are gorgeous. I think they were from a space themed collection from, ooh, sim oh, I keep saying simple stories, but I don't know if it is. Uh, I've had these bits and bobs in my stash for a little while and I feel like you can't go wrong with a puffy star. Um, it's like a gold glitter heart. You can just make it work for anything. So I've added a bunch of embellishments and now I wanted to do a tiny bit of journaling. Now that cake uh, journaling spot that I pulled out first there, I love it so much. For someone who hates cake, I love little icons and ephemera pieces of cake, <laughs> um, but I'm not a fan of the taste of it. And I really wanted to use it, but it was just, it was too much. You can, there is a fine line between good chaos and too much chaos. And I think that would have breached it. I added instead a very simple polka dot label uh, just to add a bit of extra journaling. Uh, but I really enjoyed how I did the journaling around the top of the rainbow here. Uh, and then just added a little spot down here. We were very lucky with this particular birthday party actually because it was raining in the morning and then the sun came out for the party uh, at the park and then just as the party was wrapping up, the, this, the rain started again and hence the, the muddy knees. But in our house, we love muddy knees because it means that we've had a, a muddy good old time. Uh, but this is, oh, we're not finished yet. Oh, can't go wrong with a bit of a gold glitter star in here. Um, but yes, I would love to know, because I've been away for so long, I would love to know what your current favourite crafty project that you're working on is. Uh, if you've got any requests for upcoming YouTube videos, I am really hoping to do the Inky June Marathon. So if you have any requests for those videos too, please let me know. Uh, but yeah, jumping back into the YouTube bandwagon. Um, and as always, if you ever want to see more, I've got my Patreon where I do eight videos a month and a printable digital kit every month as well. Uh, but I, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to really getting back into some filming here soon. Jazz hands. And that means we're done. She's chaos. She's colorful, but you know what? It reflects Archie to an absolute T. So thanks for joining today, peeps. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It helps it be found by more scrappy peeps. And I'll see you next weekend. Bye.